This morning, our series, The Dish Recipe, has a savory and tangy chicken meal that you can make in a matter of minutes. We teamed up with New York Times Cooking to bring you a mustard, bread, crumb, and chicken dish using many common ingredients found right in your kitchen. Hi, I'm Melissa Clark. I'm a food reporter at NYT Cooking, and today I'm making crispy mustard chicken with breadcrumbs. The inspiration is a really retro breadcrumb chicken dish, the kind that everybody's mom or grandma used to make. The ingredients that you need for the dish are unsalted butter, panko breadcrumbs, Dijon mustard, garlic, thyme, Worcestershire, lemon, red pepper flakes, and bone-in skin-on chicken thighs. So this is just the panko breadcrumbs into a bowl. And all I'm gonna do is toss them with melted butter and a little bit of salt. That's all you need. And all you're doing is you wanna just make sure that the breadcrumbs are evenly coated with the butter. So just give it a stir for a few seconds. Now I'm gonna make the mustard mixture. Dijon mustard is basically like the glue that's gonna keep these breadcrumbs on the chicken. I'm gonna put it in a bowl and I am going to add garlic because you have to have garlic with chicken, I think. Also lemon zest. Of course, I like it spicy. All of it into our mustard. And then, so I've got my herbs, my thyme. You want it to be evenly distributed without being clumpy because we're gonna paint it on this chicken and we want it to be nice and smooth. The Worcestershire is just that little umami burst. And then my little bit of spice. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. I'm also gonna season the chicken with salt and pepper. You can do the same recipe with boneless, skinless chicken thighs if that's your thing. All right, so we are seasoned. We have our mustard mix, and now I'm gonna paint this all over my chicken with this little brush. It's not a thick coating, it's pretty thin. If you put a lot of it on, it would keep it, it, would keep it moister, but it would also keep it from getting crunchy. Kids love this recipe. Grown-ups love this recipe, I love this recipe. So I'm just gonna cover it with the breadcrumbs. So you notice breadcrumbs are getting all over my tray. This parchment paper is gonna keep it from making a mess. Those little breadcrumbs, the ones that fall off your chicken, full of butter and salt, are so good. And then I'm gonna drizzle with just a little olive oil over the top. This is gonna enhance the crunch even more. So I'm gonna put this into a 400 degree oven for 35 to 45 minutes. Oh my God, it smells so good. This is exactly what you're looking for. It should be golden brown. Look at all those crumbs. And you see there's some of them are really dark and crunchy looking. Those are the ones I'm going for first. I'm gonna hit it with just a little lemon juice. Mm. This is so classic. It's so good, so simple. It has a kind of like yum, I can't stop eating it energy. I love it, make it, serve it to everyone you love, and they will be so happy.